hello everyone now we want to fill the national type visa that is useful for study visa which is up to like a year now this is their website if the website happens to be in polish you can just right click just like i said before and translate to english you understand now you have to select the country or the region let's say nigeria nigeria this is nigeria then facility abuja yes you can see the address once again we kindly inform you that um, the embassy has been reopened to a limited extent okay now we have to this is you can see national visa register the form fill out the form now we click on fill out the form and this is it so now let's start application for national visa yes now last name it's not a problem family name your probably you have a family name and you did like change of name you put it there but if it's still the same mine i just put my name because i never changed my name my last name my last name then name my first name and my middle name you understand then your date of birth your place of birth the one that is on your international passport your country of birth then your nationality the nigerian nationality aspect if it's different you can put it there but i still put nigeria there you understand then um then gender to be a man or you're a woman i put woman because i'm a woman then if you are um this is supposed to be like single this is single this bachelor it means single so i click the sing single but if you are married separated divorced you can just pick any of it then this is your nin number you type it there then type of travel document it is the um, ordinary passport for normal international passport but if you are like maybe for other reasons for mostly student visa just ordinary passport click on ordinary passport yeah then your travel number of travel document that is the number on your passport your passport number that's what you put on this place you understand what i mean that's what you put here then the release date date of issue like when did you apply for your for your passport and when it is going to expire this is it then it was issued by i put cedra this is it um let me type it because this might be Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria. And I put like I think Nigeria Immigration Service. I hope we can see this. Let me turn it up a little. I hope you can see it. Federal Republic of Nigeria, Nigeria Immigration Service. Yeah. So this is the, if you are from any part of maybe West Africa, put your country and the person who issued it. Maybe the name of your immigration. Maybe it's kind of different. You can just put it there. You understand? Then, guardian for study visa. I think I don't think not applicable. So it goes like blank. I didn't feel that. Yeah. Well, maybe if you have a guardian, someone that um, you feel you are supposed to put there that will take care of you or something, you can just put it there, you understand? Well, most preferably, if you are like an adult, more than like 18, you don't need this unless you, so you have some special cases, do you understand? So like, home address, this is the home address, I put my home address there, then... Um, is it so telephone number 
and everything just put your zip code google it online and just put everything your address and everything then this um put this email address is your email address you understand then telephone if it's mostly nigeria one is um let me search it plus two three four if your phone number is quite different then you put the remaining number there you understand mm, like that just put your number back like that um mm. but you know that if you put plus um two three four for example zero eight zero it's going to start like seven zero instead of like zero seven zero you understand what i mean <laughs> so number 18 do you permanently live in a country other than your state of nationality no because i live in nigeria unless if you are living any other place you understand you can just pick this but if you pick no then nothing all this does not concern you many ones does not concern you but it depends on what is applicable to you you are quite different then occupation i just put no occupation no no profession yeah well, if you have profession you can put it here but me i did not have any profession okay then um, employer and um, employer address and telephone number for students the name and address of the school so you pick everything if it's your employer but if you pick like um it depends if you have an employer if you have if but if you have a, like a university and you want to put everything here but me i could not pick anything there because um, i did not have anything i did not pick anything there because i did not have anything you know we did um we had like you know we, we did not really go to like master straight up like that is like vocational study you understand me so like put your university mail them and tell them that okay this is what you want to put and everything the main purpose of travel then study study yeah then to the next one um, yeah member state which is the de designation yeah definitely poland is there then the member states of first entry poland 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 to request the number of entries multiple entries yeah plan stay or transition day just put 365 days 365 days then date of uh, arrival plan date the start date like let's say your program is starting in october you can put like first of october or maybe ending of like september do you understand you can put it there so um let's just say this is 2021 2021 um, 09 dash uh, let's say maybe 15 like plan date of departure from it just put like when your program would end most preferred let's say this is 2021 there have been a two years program like 2023 dash this does not mean that when it's that time they will come and carry you away from Poland no it does not mean that what it just means is that the duration of the program in which you are going for if your program should say the start the start of your program but most programs would be like october mostly for this winter section you understand so it's like two years for your program you understand what i mean so like um number 26 singing or during the past five years if you have received any visa during the past five years i don't know for anyone but i haven't received but if you have received maybe you will just put here mm. What I haven't received, so no, of which I think most people wouldn't have received it, so just put no. Then, where your 
finger free taking from me when eating this this one before no because i've selected on here okay mm. then this not a quick again mm. then um number 31 name of the person inviting from poland and all like that if you have somebody inviting you you can just put this here you understand what i mean put the name of the person inviting you if it's um a complain or the name of the school just put a number 32 name and address of inviting complain uh, i think they put it together with this 31 okay i put um address and i used another address because i'm under scholarship and i put their numbers there so you can just put your university just put everything there all the numbers about your university and all if um, um it depends but mostly students it's like complain um students is mostly for universities let me just speak generally now you can just select like the company the name of the university you cannot put if you know the name of like maybe the your correspondent which you mail in your university and you can mail them to to also get this fact but you know for we that we are scholarship we have like our correspondence that we just put their name and uh, address and then when they mail you when your school mails you there's a um they should put like a contact um maybe phone number this you can just fill everything here you understand me now um we go to number 33 which is um okay cost of traveling and living expenses it depends on what you are using yeah you are using if you are using cash anyone you are using just click on it then valid else insurance valid until you put the year everything like that you put it there and if it is order we will pick order and use the um, stipendium which is meaning of scholarship uh, if you have any family member that is in the EU but if you don't have just leave it alone everything was just left blank yeah 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 then this you take you take you take you take then read it like that then if there's any error they will make you understand if there's anything you understand and you press like further and you can continue with your then it submits by itself then it will show you that you should be able to print out because you have to take the print out to the embassy you understand and what i mean yeah so now when it comes out you see a place where they put place and date then signature the thing is that when you get to the embassy the day of the appointment you can just sign this just put the date that you went of your visa just then put the date put abuja you understand put abuja then just sign then and that's the end of the form please if you are not clear with anything um kindly comment and let us know which you are not clear with so once again like this it's issued by i think this might be what might be an issue yeah 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 then this too you can see the number of dates i hope this is clear mm. then this too we just put your university data in it select complain put your university data mostly if it's like student yeah put your university data everything and put the purpose of which you want to put everything there do you understand mm -hmm. just put the sponsor or if you are the one sponsoring yourself just put it there select like that anyone or if it's the sponsor if it's the sponsor just put the name of the company if it's order we will pick order because we are like on scholarship so we just put order put take the stipendium there you understand and to um, like that like that like that like that like that yeah yeah so this is this does not concern me so i hope this is quite helpful this is quite helpful i'm going up and i'm just thinking there's something else
Press further and go and just connect yeah. and you print out. Then you staple your passport, the passport, the one that was specified that should have like white background and the centimeter. Just when it's printed, out, you are going to see a place where it's like a um, photo and it's for free. Don't pay money for this. Yeah. So I think this is quite um, explanatory and. Um, it's quite okay. Alright. I wish you all the best.